Welcome learners to lesson 6, Paramilitary Forces. I shall cover it under the following heads. I will firstly brief you on the SAM Rifles, the BSF, the CISF, the CRPF, ITBP, SSB, Indian Coast Guards and the SFF. Paramilitary Forces, the semi-militarized force who are organized and whose tactics, training and functions are almost similar to that of professional military, but they are not included as part of the state's formal armed forces. The SAM rifles, they are part of the Home Ministry, the Special Frontier Force, a part of the Cabinet Secretariat, the Indian Coast Guards, a part of the Ministry of Defense. Technically, the Central Armed Police Forces, which are the CRPF, the BSF, ITBP, the CISF and the SSB, they are technically Central Armed Police Forces. So we take on them one by one, the SAM rifles. Raised by the British in 1935 as the Kachar Levy, became the Assam Frontier Police in 83. Thereafter, they were renamed as the Assam Military Police in 91 and the East Bengal and Assam Military Police in 1913. Finally, in 1917, they were renamed as the Assam Rifles. Currently, there are 46 battalions of Assam Rifles and the total sanction strength is 63,747 persons. Army officers are on deputation to Assam Rifles. The tasks of some Assam Rifles Internal security under the control of army, conduct counterinsurgency and border security operations, aid to civil power in terms of emergency, communication, medical assistance and education in remote areas and in times of war, they are also used to secure rear areas and they are the principal force guarding the indo myanmar border. The Border Security Force is the primary border guarding force of India. In the wake of 1965 war, the BSF were raised under the administrative control of Ministry of Home Affairs. They have their own cadre officers, but the head, the Director General, is an IPS officer. The sanctioned strength is 2,57,363 persons. They also include an air wing a marine wing and intelligence units. They are the world's largest border guarding force. BSF has played a major role in the 1971 Indo-Pakistan War, in Operation Blue Star in 1984 and Operation Black Thunder in 1986 to 88. It is also extensively deployed in CIOPS in Jammu and Kashmir. We come to the CISF, again under the Ministry of Home Affairs, raised in 1969. Current strength is at 1,44,418 and further sanctioned 1,80,000 personnel. They provide security cover to industrial units, roughly 300 industrial units, government infrastructure projects and establishment. They protect the atomic power plants, the space installations, the mints, major ports, steel plants, barrages and other public sector undertakings. They also provide consultancy services to private industries as well as government organizations. They conduct security consulting and fire protection consulting. A point to note here is that they have a major role in disaster management and they have a fire wing. The Central Reserve Police Force of the CRPF is the largest of India's Central Armed Police Forces. 213 imperialists with a strength of 3.13 lakhs. They also under the Ministry of Home Affairs, originally raised as the Crown Representatives Police in 1939 and in 1949 were designated as CRPF. The role is assisting the state obliguities in police ops to maintain law and order and counterinsurgency. 
internal security including VIP security and CRPF are majorly deployed in anti-national operations. They are also conduct the election security and contributes reasonably well to UN missions. CRPF has a rapid action force, a wing which comprises of 10 battalions numbered 99 to 108 and CRPF is known or is trained for zero response and very fast deployment in crisis situations. CRPF has a parliament duty group or the PDG. PDG is tasked for protection of parliament house and comprises about 1500 personnel from various units of CRPF. They are trained in nuclear, biological and chemical warfare. CRPF has commando battalion for resolute action or the COBRA. They are basically deployed in anti-national operations. They are trained in jungle warfare and there are 10 COBRA units deployed in all left-wing extremist dominated areas of Chhattisgarh, Bihar, Odisha, Jharkhand, MP, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Assam and Meghalaya. The Indo-Tibetan border police raised in 1962 in the wake of the Sino-Indian War. They were initially intended for deployment along India's border with Tibet. They have now 56 battalions with a strength of 89,000 plus, trained in disaster management and NBC nuclear, biological and chemical warfare, contributors to UN missions and they are also like two battalions are deputed to NDRF or the National Disaster Response Force. The Shasastra Sima Ball or the SSB were raised as originally Special Service Bureau in 63 in the aftermath of the Chinese aggression and in 2001 they were designated at Shasastra Sima Ball which is now 67 battalions with 76,000 troops. The previous role was to motivate and mobilize India's border population for national security. But in essence, now they are deployed for preventing cross-border crime and smuggling and other anti-national activities. They also enjoy certain criminal, uh, certain uh, powers under the Criminal Procedure Code, the Arms Act, the Narcotics Act and the Passport Act. Within 15 kilometers from the border, the Indo-Nepal and the Indo-Bhutan borders in the states of Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Sikkim, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. They can exercise the CRP, SSB enjoys these special powers. Indian Coast Guards, they protect the maritime interests of the country and enforces maritime law within the territorial waters of India. They are under Ministry of Defense and works in close cooperation with Indian Navy, Fisheries Department, Revenue Department and Central and State Police Forces. The role of the Indian Coast Guards is to conduct safety and protection of artificial islands, offshore terminals and other installations, the protection and assistance to fishermen and mariners at sea who are in distress, Preserve and protect marine ecology and environment, including pollution control. Assist customs and other authorities in anti-smuggling operations. Law enforcement in territorial as well as international waters. And scientific data collection and support. The additional responsibilities include Offshore Security Coordination Committee, they form the OSCC the National Maritime Research and Rescue Coordinating Authority, the NMSARCA, or they are the lead intelligence agency for the sea and they are also responsible for coastal area security. Indian Coast Guards is headed by DG who is equivalent to the Vice Admiral of Indian Navy. Last we come to Special Frontier Force or the SFF which were raised in 1962 to conduct covert operations behind Chinese lines 
established under the direct supervision of Prime Minister and they are under the operational command of the cabinet secretaries. When raised, they were raised under the IB. They primarily used for conducting clandestine gathering and commando operations along the line of actual control with China, also known as the Establishment Tutu or Just Tutu, based in Chakrata and Uttarakhand. The name Tutu is because the first IG of the Establishment Tutu was Major General Sujan Singh, who was ex-22 Mountain Regiment. That, gentlemen, brings us to end of the Paramilitary Forces uh, series. Hope you've enjoyed the learning. Thank you very much.